Greetings, I'm Dean the Poet. I teach creativity and how to use it to build a better world. Today I want to talk to you about trees. Trees have been on the earth for about 400 million years. Uh, they have been on the earth longer than sharks. They have been on the earth much longer than the Rocky Mountains that I'm standing in. And they have been on the earth uh, about the same time, maybe a little bit longer than the Appalachian mount Mountains. So what do, why, why do I want to talk to you about trees? Well, here's the thing. Trees have lasted so long. One of the reasons trees have lasted so long is because they build communities of mutual aid. They support each other. And one of the ways they do this is they send nutrients to each other through the mycelium in the soil. And we do not know whether these two species just, um, if, they, if, if they evolved together, they just happened to evolve together that way, because mycelium is far, far older than trees. Uh, mycelium was first on land because uh, it had to figure out how to make rocks into soil so that plants could, could grow here. Mycelium is not, uh, is not a plant, it's not an animal, it's a fungus, which is, uh, it's more animal than it is plant, but it's somewhere in between. Anyway, I wanna to talk to you about trees, mutual aid, and building a better world. We don't know whether uh, mycelium and trees uh, evolved together, whether trees cultivated mycelium to uh, the, the, way, the way we have bred wolves into dogs, or whether mycelium bred uh, uh, fern trees, th those were the first sort of trees, into the types of trees that we have now, or whether they just happened to co-evolve together. We just don't know. Uh, my point is, Trees have lasted so long on this planet because they figured out how to build communities of mutual aid, how to build mutually supporting communities, how to build sustainable communities. And my question to you is, how can we use that to create a more equitable, a more peaceful, a more beautiful world a more just world for humans and all other species on the earth. Come on, we've got we've got some of the biggest brains on the planet. We're supposed to be the most the most intelligent. We can do this. So what would uh, what would your inner circle look like if you if you and your inner circle all developed a culture of mutual support and mutual aid. What would your community, your local community look like if you guys developed a, a community and a culture and a tradition of mutual aid and mutual support? What would that look like? How can you begin to build that today? Have fun with this, play around with it, ask your friends, see what you can do. I wish you a day filled with love, joy, peace, beauty, bliss, and wisdom. I'll see you soon.